radiograph shows you uh, a set of what I would call normal hips. Now, in this uh, picture, what you're seeing is a dog that's had a radiograph uh, of the pelvis. Now, just, just to give you an idea what radiograph and x-rays mean. X-rays are the beam that goes through the animal to put a uh, picture on what we call the radiographic plate. The, uh, the plate, as they call it, is the radiograph. And that also applies to uh, the, when we've moved into the digital world. Uh, some people call them digital x-rays. They're truly called digital radiographs. Anyway, in this particular case, imagine a dog lying on its back on the x-ray table and we're going to shoot straight through the pelvis and we've also got the hind legs pulled backward in other words, extended all the way so that, that way he's lying straight out like you would lie in bed with your legs straight down. And in this uh, radiograph, what you're going to see is you've got the two hip joints. They're a ball and socket joint. So you've got the ball and then the socket. And uh, you can see both the left and the right. When you look at radiographs, the one that you see on your right is actually the left hip for the dog because they're lying on their back and you're looking from the top. In this case, what you can see is a very nicely formed ball and a cup, uh, which is called the acetabulum, for those that like big words. But the acetabulum doesn't have any arthritis around it whatsoever. Now, if you look at this next x-ray, you're going to see a whole lot more difference here. This one is, rather than having nice bone-to-bone -bone contact in the hip joints, we're out like this. And there's no, no way that thing is going in place. This is, unfortunately for this dog, horrible hip dysplasia. That bone is right out of joint. Uh, there's no hope of it ever being in joint. And uh, this dog would be having surgery for a salvage procedure just so it can walk around. Now, if the dog had milder hip dysplasia, this is what you could see. And that is the hip joint is, is in bad shape. And it's been sort of, I call it, rattling around in that ball and cup joint. So it rattles around, it gets arthritis around it, it the whole head, the what I call the head of the femur, becomes misshapen. And in this case, both of them are affected. This dog is in horrible pain. This one wouldn't have occurred, or seriously, this radiograph would not be seen in a young puppy. This took years to develop. And in this particular case, uh, unfortunately, at this time, we're looking at just pain control, trying to make the dog comfortable uh, so it can live a decent life. It could have a salvage surgery done where you remove that joint, uh, but that, that's another topic entirely. But uh, anyway, you're looking at those bad hips. I'm just going to revert back to the good hips so you can just sort of see how they were positioned. As you can see, a nice smooth ball and socket with no arthritis, and here's your arthritic joint again. So obviously, there's lots of problems there. This next joint is going to show you a totally different uh, type of disease. Uh, we're going to move from arthritis to tumors. Now, this radiograph shows you a knee joint. So you've got the two bones coming together. You'll see on your left, there's a little bubble or bone up there. That's the kneecap, uh, technically known as the patella. So in this case, you've got a, a leg with the patella here and then the lower bone. This this one here is the femur, which is the top end would be the hip. The bottom end is the knee. You've got the kneecap, which is on the bottom end of the femur. And then the next one is the tibia, which is the same bone below your knee that goes down to your ankle. So in this case, just have a look at how the bone's uh, looking in terms of uh, how it's built. And then let's look at the next one. So what's happened here is that there's a tumor that's grown right inside that joint and the, it's, it's, it's right in the bone and unfortunately just totally destroyed that bone. Amazingly, this dog didn't show it until almost this time and it, we took the x-ray and oh my, uh, we've got a horrible tumor. These ones are bad news uh, because they do tend to spread, they'll go to the lungs and uh, unfortunately cause the death of the dog. In this particular case, uh, the owner was considering amputation, uh, but we took x-rays, sorry, radiographs using x-rays of the chest. And what that showed is that we already had tumors in the chest.
And so removing the leg, uh, it's a hard surgery, the dog has to compensate for it, but because of the tumors in the chest, he didn't have very long to go anyway. These ones can be surprising in that the dog can do really well for quite a while and then finally enough bone destruction happens that the bone fractures at the tumor site and then suddenly they're lame. And uh, if you see something like that, a dog that suddenly gets lame, it should be checked right away.